Golf mates, how are we doing? Said I'll be chucking this video out as we're approaching winter now. Well, I think winter's it actually, isn't it? Golf balls. Does it matter what golf balls are used in the winter in wet, soggy conditions and frozen conditions? Does it matter? I thought I had the answer, which was no, it don't. But no, I'm not too sure. Reason I say that, I played on Friday with our pro and we, we used for an all these Pinnacle Soft, 12 pound for 12, these Wilson DX. Tight list, True Soft and Super Soft by Callaway. And we just chucked in Z Stars and Pro V ones for the premium ball. So it weren't a test with numbers or anything like that. Andy from T Up Law, he's working on something great, so he'll be doing something like that. But all it were is does it matter? So here's what Dave said, our pro, ex challenge tour player. So as I said in the garage, does it matter in the winter what ball you use? I'm not too sure it does me. I, I don't think you need a premium ball, unless you're on like a Lynx course. With our pro, Dave McKinnon, ex challenge tour, I'll let him have his opinion. I, I'm just saying, does it matter what you use for us lot in winter? Well, like you say, for an average club golfer, um, probably not if it's wet, depending on the conditions you're playing in. If you're playing on a on a linksy course, but it's still pretty dry. The, the, yeah, it's a winter question. I'm all about a winter. Does it matter what we use? What would you say? Again, it depends. There's a few variables with changing balls. If you've got a low compression ball like the X2 that you've got there, a hard hitter like yourself, or, or a low handicap release ball a long way, will compress that ball too much. So for someone who's got a slow swing speed, someone about four miles an hour like the dick, yep. <laughs> then he would benefit from something like that. Uh, the, sm the, the cheaper balls to play with in the winter, I think what I would say to most people is get out there, get into your pro, have a ball fit. A lot of people don't think they can have a ball fit and you'll does be surprised. Does a ball fit make much difference? Yes. Honestly? Yes. It does? It will do, yeah. Well, give yeah, us a reason then. Cause... Well, you want every little bit of advantage. At the end of the day, a good player could could play well or a bad player could play play well with a Pro V as a, a good player could play well with a Pinnacle. Right. But you want every little bit of advantage helping you. So, but a good player who uses a lot of feel, if they're using a, a ball as a low compression or a super soft ball and they hit it quite, they'll get it quite springy off the face when they're hitting the wedges and things like that. So they're, they're going to want a ball that feels a little bit firmer, like a Pro V or a, a Callaway Chrome X, which is a little bit more um, controllable around the green. For your average golfer, you know, at club level, they play, a lot of them play a premium ball when really they don't need to do that because a lot of real good balls out on the market. Right. But this time of year, you know, you'd be hoping to play with something that, that is cheap, uh, good value balls out there again on the market that is cheap and you know, it's not going to really affect your performance so much. So I'm right on what I'm saying in winter, it doesn't matter what you play with. For the average golfer, I would certainly say go cheaper because there's a lot of good balls down there and you won't really well, feel Well, so we try some now coming in. You yeah. have got the, I want you at Pinnacle next door. Okay. Good lad. So that's Dave's opinion. So my, my opinion before we went out and tried these balls was it doesn't matter. But I'm gonna take that back in a little bit now where sometimes you've got to feel right. I'm, super, I'm a weird one, me. If I'm on the tee and one of my shoelaces is tighter than the other, I feel uncomfortable. I've got a feeling I've got to change that before I take a shot. So that's comfy in it. I class that as feel. Chipping round the greens or the noise of a ball. Feel. Feel again helps, helps me. I, I, I'm a seven handicapper and it, chipping is a good part of my game and putting. So I do rely on feel more on more skill really. So, but before that I thought it didn't matter. So we, I played. 
Joking apart, me and Dave were played in all with these pinnacles. So these 12 quid, pinnacle soft, I think the 12 quid for 12. I kid you not, they went exactly the same far as a premium ball. They were, it was just a feel, they just felt hard. That, that's all I'd say, they just felt hard and made a funny noise when they were putting. But I actually parred a hole and Dave parred the hole with them. Then we use these, I think these are 16 quid for 12, these Wilson D DX2 soft. Now, same again. They were all right, but they were no different to the pinnacle in my eyes. So, you know, it's not, I didn't have any data or anything like that. It was more how we felt touching around the greens and putting and hitting. But off the tee, same. No different than a premium ball. And then these are 20 quid. These Callaway Super Soft and Titleist True Soft. Now, to me, I'm going to be honest, same. They went great off the tee, just chipping and putting, I just thought they weren't a premium. But all these balls are different prices, and to me there's no difference. Absolutely not. there might be two piece, might have a three piece and all that jazz. To me they were no different, by chipping and putting. Just the feel, and I thought it's a feel a big thing. So for me, I'd always go back to a premium ball in winter. Maybe the one I used last year, actually, was a Srixen AD3 Tour. Now I used that in the winter last year, that had a little bit of feel to it. So that's just my opinion. I'd love to get your opinion. Uh, and, I know, and I know these opinions are going to be like, your handicap, I say your budget. Uh, yeah, uh, and just your handicap I suppose, if you're a cat one, I think we've got Neil Wolf here, I think he's a scratch or plus one golfer. I like to have his thoughts, does it matter what he uses in the winter? Do you know what I mean? If, that's some thoughts or anybody, come back to me, because it's going to be a good discussion, this. What kind of ball does it matter? I mean, oh, for that, Dave, our pro, did say a premium ball will probably carry further than the budget balls. And in the winter, you want more carry. But I asked him, like, is it going to make much difference? And he's like, well, every inch helps. So it's true, you know, your ex-wife, your ex-girlfriend would have said every inch, every inch helps. But uh, I don't know. Still don't know, I think, I think they all fly the same in my eyes, I, I don't think there's hardly anything in it, but it's just touch and feel, and I think touch and feel makes a big difference in my golf game, maybe not yours, but in my game, feel means, means everything, because I'm not technically good. Right, I'll leave that one with you, comment below, let's hear from you all, and let's see uh, what balls you use, is it all a myth, or does it not matter in the winter? Alright, catch you soon.